Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Eric, and me and my wife are doing a pop up camper. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn. Yeah. But that's the pop up. A lot of work to be done. We took out the stove and um, the sink. We're going to take out the sink or the water out, the water tank too. Gotta put up a new ceiling. Gotta put up some new boards right there. If you ever try to take those boards out, be careful because you got screws along there. And um, they got staples holding them up also. So you gotta be real careful with that. I had to um, put a different inline fuse into the power converter. It wasn't that hard, just don't have that much room. Sorry if I'm not really getting a good picture of it for you guys. I was hoping my phone, I could switch it back and forth. There, new inline fuse, yeah, it looks kind of rigged, but it's in there properly and everything works good. But we're gonna end up putting a flat counter, no stove or sink. Uh, that's really about it. We're gonna put up a new uh, vent, and then it's gonna have lights around it. I'm gonna put lights down over there. Um, my wife's gonna paint all this. I'm gonna do plank floors, the, the pull and peel floors. Paint job wise, um, everything that's white is gonna get painted a midnight blue. And then I already started on the trim. I'm gonna paint that all black. The trim up here is gonna be black around the doors. Pretty much anything that's a trim is gonna be black. I even did the wheel well. Don't mind my coffee. There's the, the wheel well, uh, like the fender. It's all black already. I already did that. It's not hard when you paint. Remember use some type of uh, adhesive and wax remover this is what I'm using tar and wax remover also gets adhesive off um, does really good let it dry for some a little bit of time and then when it's dry shoot a nice uh, thin layer of primer and then go back over it with a little bit of a heavier coat but not too heavy um, then let that dry to go ahead and shoot it with whatever color you're going to do. Um, I'm going to do clear coat on it, but I'm going to wait until I paint the whole camper before I do clear coat. When I paint the whole camper, then I'll put everything back on, and then I'll do the clear coat. Then it's going to look really nice. Um, I know they sell at AutoZone, even, even on uh, Amazon, they sell um, pre-mixed paint, pre-mixed clear coat. Um, there are some bad reviews, a couple bad reviews on it, nothing, it, it sounds more like um, a person error rather than a paint error. Um, so a lot of people are complaining about orange peel, well that's because you got to take the cleaner off the paint before you shoot it. So make sure you use that tar and adhesive remover and uh, I'll take some more videos or um, pictures, whatever, of the pop-up while we're working on it. So, don't mind the noise, I'm sorry, I got a torpedo heater going, it's snowing outside and it's like 20 degrees. Alright man, thanks for watching everybody.